Well, 2007 was another great year for Apex. We hit 400 million in revenue, we cracked the top 10 of all IT staffing companies, we expanded to new markets, and we hit just about all of our goals. In fact, I'm headed right now to meet Wynn and Jeff, and we're going to talk about the accomplishments of 2007, present them to the board, and also talk about our goals for 2008. And you know what else? We had some additional management experience. You know, as the company got bigger and bigger, when Jeff and I knew we needed to bring on somebody who had been where we are going. So we were really grateful we were able to bring on Rand Blazer. Rand had been the chairman and CEO over at Bearing Point, and so he had a lot of great insight, a lot of great experience to share with our folks, and he was excited to do that. And our folks had a ton of great questions for him. Hey, Rand. Hey, is it true you have Phil Vickerson's cell phone number? Yeah, it's true. That is awesome! Is it true? It's true! Awesome. Anything else? Nope. Hey, Rand. Hey, Chris. So, did you ever get a chance to talk to Phil after the meltdown of the Open? Uh, no, I didn't ask him about that. Oh. So you're going to ask him? No, I'm not going to ask him about that. Is there an Apex question you'd like to ask me about? Um, well, yeah. Is there any chance we can get Phil to wear the Apex hat? Oh, Rand, uh, Phil Mickelson called for you. Did he? No, but that's so cool that you think he did. <laughs> Once Rand got settled in, people are always asking us, well, what are Win Jeff and I going to do now? And I tell you, I don't think any one of us ever got too far from the action. I know Jeff never lost his focus. Uh, Apex, hello? Wynn was always such a great motivational speaker, so he got a chance to work on making a motivational video. All my life I've had one dream, to achieve my many goals. You gotta stay in shape if you wanna be the best. I just did a thousand of these. I like to think of my body as a tomb. If you go after your dreams and you do your very best, then you're not a loser in my book. Unless you fail. As for me, I've managed to stay active and keep my skills sharp. I think I'll always love trying to make things happen. I mean, seriously, could you be less confident? Look, look, just, just get back to work, okay? And, and, and here's something, uh, maybe get a haircut, okay? Because you look ridiculous. Are you stupid? No, these are the wrong coordinates, okay? Just, just get out of here, all right? And, and also, one last thing, this coffee's terrible, right? This is terrible coffee. What do you mean you lost my lightsaber? I just gave it to you yesterday! Yeah, so I'm talking to the Emperor, and he's like, blah, 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 you know. And so I'm like, listen, I followed your plan last time, and a bunch of teenagers blew up the Death Star. You know, so. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, well, you know, he, he was a little upset. Hey, Brian, you got a minute? Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of something here, Rob. And Rand rolled his sleeves up and got to know our people. And I was surprised at how quickly he learned who everyone was. Sean, the thing I am so impressed with are the people at Apex. I mean, they are just fantastic. I've never seen a more turned on group. It's a great compliment to you all as leaders. I mean, like Doug Rader, what a great guy he is. You mean what a, Don? Yeah, what, whatever. And, and people like Don Kenny. You mean Doug Kenny? If you say so. And how about Buddy Amaduro? Amaduro? Oh, Do you mean Omahandro? Sure. And Jason Tootle. Tootel. And Nathan Duet? Nathan Duet. Uh, yeah, whatever. And Rand began to make some important changes, too. Maybe the most important was addressing our productivity, being able to do more with less. Make it great. So that's, that's so what? 
Really? It doesn't matter. So, okay. Great. Just what we want. Of course, progress didn't necessarily come as quickly as he would have hoped. Here's your productivity report, Rand. Ah, uh, great. Thank you, Robin. No change? Damn. As is always the case at Apex, changes were constantly going on and nobody was spared. In fact, even some of our old dogs had to learn new tricks. Matt, great job on this, all right? We'll keep moving forward. Sounds great. Oh, hey, and Matt, remember, keep telling your people activity equals productivity. They can't hear that enough. Yeah, when I've been meaning to talk to you about that. I think it's time to hang that one up and give it a rest. We've been focused much more on quality versus quantity these days, and I think it's time to just try to look for something different, okay? Really? Really. People like slogans. It helps them to focus. It makes things crystal clear. They can visualize exactly what it is they need to do. And for years, I've always trumpeted the phrase, activity equals productivity. But today we need a new slogan. We need a new mantra, one that the people of Apex today can connect to. And it's gotta be catchy and it's gotta pop. So he worked on some new phrases. Stumble once, shame on me. Stumble twice, and it's strike three. For every effect, there's an equal and opposite refect. Opportunity is like a ball of chocolates. You never know what you get until you take a shot. Sometimes the right phrase just comes to you. Matt, remember, energy equals mo energy. What? Energy equals mo energy. More energy? Mo energy. That opportunity is like a ball of chocolates. It's kind of a work in progress. This year also marks some big anniversaries. A number of our folks celebrated their 10th year with Apex. And some of the select few even had their jersey retired and were inducted into our Hall of Fame. And so it is my great pleasure to welcome Rob McGuckin to the Apex Hall of Fame and formally retire his jersey forever. Some of these speeches can get pretty emotional. I'm not normally a religious guy, but at a time like this, I feel it's appropriate to give thanks to the man above who's made this all possible. I want to take a moment to say, thank you, Superman. And without a doubt, one of the nicest pieces of recognition that we got was when Ted Hansen won CFO of the year. Ted's a pretty humble guy, and he downplayed it a little bit, but I could tell how excited he was when that ring arrived. Mm. Wow, Ted, that is really beautiful. What is that? Sapphire? Quartz. Quartz? Sure. At the corporate offices, things kept rolling along. Of course, not without incident. There was the usual turf battles and clashes, but nothing that HR couldn't get a handle on. I'm not going to tolerate this. This is an outrage. Well, Paul, help me understand something. You said they did this to you while you were sleeping? Yes. Why were you sleeping at work? What the hell does that have to do with anything? Look at my face! Unfortunately, like a lot of organizations these days, we discovered that some of our employees were using steroids to get ahead. Oh, really? Well, how about I come down there and make you eat that pin with your butt? I'm not so sure, man. Sign it before I break your face. Oh, yeah? Well, how about you take that job, you stupid son of a bitch? Thankfully, we were able to bring the steroids era to a close as a result of some really good testing. But we are still suspicious that now people are turning to HGH. But we just can't prove it yet. So with all the accomplishments of 2007 behind us, 
when Win Jeff and I go into this board meeting, we're going to focus a lot on 2008. This is still the best time to be a part of Apex, and we take this really seriously. We think 2008 is going to be our biggest year ever. Hey, what's up, fellas? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on? You guys didn't shave? Nah. Dude, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Alright, you know what, yeah, you know what, you guys are right. Let's just focus on the meeting. That's what's important, so let's do it. I can't believe you guys didn't shave. Sign it before I break. I don't, I don't know if I'm looking this way or I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell is that? Nice. That's probably Geo calling me back. Thank you. How about Buddy Amadoro? <laughs> <laughs> and how about, how about uh, Buddy Amadoro? I just gave it to you yesterday! Uh, all right, let's keep going. So wrong? Oh, Mahondro. You call Mahondro? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> give, give one. Ready? We're going to try the same thing. Get ready. Alright, you got that one. Alright? Perfect. Alright, good. That's it. Thanks. Thanks. Court. 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 Just keep going. Here's your productivity report, man. Great. Thanks, Rob. Well, how about I come down there and make you eat that pen? With your butt! Do, do one more just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now do one where... Alright, now do one where... Alright, just start, just clap. Just on. Good? Great? That was easy. Yeah. I can be a straight guy. Thank you, Superman. <laughs> that was good. That was good. You sacrifice for art. Yep. All right, you're wrong. Oh, I forgot my line. <laughs> you go after your dreams and you do your very best. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the kind of flailing you want? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, do you have a... <laughs> <laughs> got a minute? Screw it again, but you were looking back at you. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>